Junior, can you talk about that fight in December with Alistair Overeem? A lot of people thought you looked a little gun shy, a little timid. What what, what went wrong in that fight? Uh, well, I felt bad because I lost. <laughs> no, but uh, the fight was was a tough fight for me, you know. And I was trying. I think it was a, a wrong strategy, you know. Maybe. You know, because what I do, all the time, I block, I try to block the guy, you know, I don't, I, I, I put him against the cage and then I attack him, I make the fight happen. And at this time, I was moving just one side, avoiding his left uh, kicks and knees, so uh, the fight wasn't happening, you know, and, uh, and then I, I started, but I, I didn't change that. I saw that moment that, that was happening and I didn't change, so I paid the price for that, you know, so... I, it wasn't, yeah, I wasn't feeling, I was I, I was prepared, I was okay for the fight, or you know, but I think it was a uh, wrong strategy, that's it. Yeah. You have been seeking some different training, you know, Noble and Yao, American top team. Yeah. What do you feel, do you, do you feel comfortable now, are you getting what, what you're looking for, and do you feel like maybe that's a, a place for you long term? Yeah, I think so, you know, uh, well, uh, like, like right now, it's my second uh, training camp there at ATT, you know, and I did pretty well, you know, the guys there, it's, for me it's good to be participating of a big team like them, you know, be part of that team, and also having Coach Doria now helping me, so we did a good, a good camp, and uh, I, I'm learning a lot of new things, and I, I just want to put everything together, add everything to my boxing skills, you know, and uh, be a better fighter, you know, so uh, let's see, uh, <laughs> I'm ready to, to Sunday night, and uh, I think it's, it, this one's going to be my first step back to the title, to my title shot. What do you see in Ben Rothwell? Obviously he's been around for a long time, but for whatever reason he's really becoming successful as of late. What, what do you see in him? Uh, he's a very confident guy, you know, very confident guy and puts a lot of pressure on his opponents. What he did with Josh Barnett on his last fight was 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 really nice, you know. <laughs> was really nice that Gogo choke works a lot, <laughs> so uh, uh, we have to avoid that for sure. But he's I, I I've never you know had uh, like a, a personal moment with, with with him like like how I, I want to say. I wasn't, I, I've never was too close of him, you know. I used to watch his fights and he looks like some, uh, like a strange guy during the fight, you know, very, a little, you know, crazy. <laughs> but uh, but he's a really nice guy, you know. Uh, we were here at the Croatia like two months ago promoting the fight and I had the opportunity to get closer and he's a really nice guy, so it's going to be a pleasure to be competing him against him, you know. Uh, nice and tough. Can you just talk about how important this fight is for you? I mean, you talked about getting a run back to the title. You've had a couple of losses lately. It would seem that this was a really, really important fight for you that, that you have to pick up a win here. Yeah, yeah. My, uh, like, um, yeah, I'm living uh, like a not very good moment this last time. Right, actually, right now I'm living a good moment because I'm feeling good. I'm ready for this fight, and that's what matters, you know. So I, I just wanna show people that I'm still here, you know, I'm still Junior Dos Santos, I still can do, like, uh, really good things inside the octagon, and I'm going to show them this, everything, what I, what I got on Sunday night, you know, and like I said, it's going to be my first step back to the, my, to the title shot, and I'm, I'm not, I, I feel inside of my heart that I'll be the champion again, doesn't matter what happened, I'll be the champion again.